Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is Skywalker. We're doing some Borderlands 2. Um, I had to reload the game. Obviously, because you know, I don't leave it on all night long. And I just did some God of War 3 episodes. I did two more of those. Kind of nice, I'm enjoying that. Um, so we're going to take care of these guys I took out at the end of the episode. About to gain a level. That'll be nice to spend one of those skill points. I'll probably up my uh, generation skill. And I'll respect those later. I'll find something a little bit more inter interesting to do than healing. And some offensive weaponry would be nice. Oh, this guy's so not running away from me. He is. I think I'm down. Well, that was a shame. So we are still headed towards the Soaring Dragon. We've lost Claptrap and the explosion to blow up that locked door after we handled Boom Boom. Oh, uh, this is my commando with the saber turret. Oh, I gotta start all the way back here. Damn it, now those racks are gonna start attacking me, I just know it. Oh, get out of that water. So we're headed up there. I think Claptrap's boat is on the back end of that giant dragon. So we gotta climb our way up there. I doubt we'll make it at this episode. I'm gonna switch guns. There's that burst grenadier. Oh, these guys. Chew up. I'll pay you back on that. Not a problem. That's my car. You're not out. I can't believe this. Does anyone else play this? Is there a class they like? Particular skill? skill allocation that they enjoy, you know, uh, post it in the comments, I'd love to hear about it. I am going to try to level every class that uh, is available to me to level 50. Um, I do, my highest level I think is about 46 or 42 or something like that. There's a weapons chest. Rocket Torpedo. It's a slow fire rate. Consumes four ammo per shot. I'm gonna leave it behind. Looks kinda nice. I don't know about that four ammo per shot. I haven't upgraded my ammo capacity yet, which is which is an available option later on, but we have to reach the town of Sanctuary first. So let's head on into a new zone. There's an explosive barrel, so you can hit, catch this guy. Yeah. Oh, is he still up? There's our level. Up in that preparation. Uh, boost my shield capacity 9% and my regenerate is 1.2% of my health per second when my shields are full. This thing takes a second to reload. Nice. Another porta party chest. We got genuine home security. And filled rifle. Did you see the extra text on that at the bottom uh, above TDR? Explodes like a grenade when reloaded. You know, I'm going to show you how that works. That's an interesting feature they added this game. Let me toss one. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. Let's see, so I still have my. Burst Grenadier. There it is. Alright. So we're firing it. This is the uh, explodes explodes like a grenade when reloaded. So you can toss it and it'll explode. And some of them will explode on contact. Like if you hit an enemy while you're with the thrown gun, it'll explode right in their face. Which is nice. this 
shotgun for a little bit. Got ourselves a save point. This isn't too tough of a gun. There it is, that one explodes on contact. You fellas meet the missus? One more turn, kills. I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to the grenadier. I was enjoying that. That guy zero turret a whole bunch. There's a med vendor. Dr. Zed's meds. We'll check to see if they have any good shields. First, I'm going to grab these chests. Alright. Oh, one more. If you got the money, I'll save your gold earned life. Uh, nothing with a better capacity. Um, why not sell? One of these. Got some grenade mods. Still the standard explosion types. I'm disappointed. My favorite, particular favorite when it comes to grenade mods is the Merv, which explodes and then turns into uh, several different grenades, which then explode after, after they're deployed. Got a proposition for you two. You and Clappy be our personal torture buddies for life, and we won't kill you! Think it over. Ah, Deploying sentry! Another turret kill! <laughs> Auto guns chewing them up! Let's go save this guy. Second flip, my new minions a bona fide badass. All right, we saved the claptrap. Getting closer to the soaring dragon and finding claptrap's boat. Protect me, squire. Oh, we got someone around here. Sentry gun prime. <laughs> I've heard a few uh, challenge down comments from my character, uh, so after this fight is over, we will check out my badass rank and um, see if we can spend some tokens. I got one shot left. Alright, so let's check out that badass rank. Yeah, we got one token right there. So I'm going to hit redeem token. Every time you redeem a token, they give you a list. One, two, three, four, five. Five different opportunities, or chances, uh, choices rather, to get some kind of bonus. Um, I'm going to pick gun accuracy this time around. Plus 0.4%. So what's my gun accuracy at? 9.1. 
It's pretty much in the middle of the bonus stats box. Gun accuracy 9.1. I usually like to pick uh, critical hit. Um, what else? Elemental damage per second. I like to boost that. Sometimes the elemental effect chance, the percentage, I like to boost that. If I'm using a melee character, I will, uh, like the assassin, it's got really strong melee attacks with his little blade. I boost that when I'm playing with him. I'm coming. You know, guys? All right, with that, folks, I'm going to cut Over this here. cutting this episode short. Uh, thanks for sticking with me. And if you just joined, if this is your first episode... Oh, you know what? Scratch that. I think I got another... Uh, I read my clock wrong. I got some more time. Let's uh, try and find these controls. I thought I was at 14. It appears I'm only around 11 minutes. So we will continue on up the path for another couple minutes before I do actually have to cut this short. But thanks for joining in any case. Oh, He's slag right there. When an opponent is slagged, or even when I'm slagged, whoever's slagged takes more damage than they normally would. And you can see purple coming off them. Kind of like a poisonous purple cloud. And you can get slagged weapons later on. We'll cover that. Uh, there is a quest that you get from Marcus in the town of Sanctuary. And he will, he will give a rundown of all the different elemental types of damage. So... I'll keep you guys posted when we're about to do that and tell you to, you know, shut your mouth and open your ears for just long enough if you wanted to understand what the elemental was all about. There he is down there. We're going to pull this switch. <laughs> I ascend! Okay, now's the time. I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Um, I'll see you guys next episode. I believe this is episode 8. So I'll see you in episode 9. This is Skywalker. Checking out.